Hey everyone, Magic Flying Potato. Uh, hope you've been doing well. Uh, apologize that I have not been more active in putting videos out. Um, as I moved from Germany to the United States, I had to get a new PC. I didn't have to get a new T PC. I wanted to get a new PC, so I got a pretty pretty nice PC. Uh, so I got a new setup, and so I've been trying to get everything set up and going over here. Uh, and and also, okay, this game has been out for almost a year. I, I think next month Find will be a year. So I figured Knock that with Hoops. that, oh. I'm going to start over as a, with a new player guide because it's been so long since I've actually done uh, a new game that, you know, there are a lot of things that have changed and uh, people have questions and I have videos uh, with, with explanations of things but they're no longer valid because they've changed stuff around. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do a uh, new player 2021 um, kind of a, a tutorial walkthrough episodes 1, 2, 3, 4. And I will below, I will also put um, timestamps for different things. So if you want to go to a specific area on how to make something, uh, I'll timestamp it down below. Okay, so when you first start out, you know, I've got a couple of videos that I will link. I've done uh, earlier with uh, the key, uh, key screen, um, where things are at on the screen, what they mean. Uh, just a quick, quick refresher. Uh, hit your tab key. You got your inventory status, your crafting. As you can see, there's nothing there. Your map. Uh, they definitely have done a lot for the map to make it look a lot better. North, west, south, east, your compass right here. Wish that was on your regular screen, but it is not. Um, your quest, this, at the, when you first start playing, I, I highly suggest that you follow this area right here. This will help you progress through the game to, and, and, and help you survive a lot better when you, uh, do the quest and you complete them. Plus, you get research points, and you can turn those in for items later on. Uh, data, this is uh, key items. Uh, again, if you get totally stuck on trying to figure something out, come over to data, hit tutorials, and down here has pretty much almost everything that you can have questions about, like what it means or what to do, uh, like the, the SCABI vitals. Come over here, you click it, and it has just a little... Um, just a little tutorial on uh, what everything is. Like this is the little bracelet. For some reason that space wasn't working. So I'll just go down there and click it with the arrow. Again, it is a early release. So there are some things that sometimes just don't work right. And so the SCABI, which is down at the bottom left corner, this is what it's telling you what the different items mean. Pretty simple. Uh, again, if you have questions about it, uh, your OS... Scabby is that thing on your wrist. Uh, they got the flavors, which are just different colors that you'll find throughout the game. Uh, if you have any questions about the icons, what they mean, just come over to the OS and, and scroll up and down and find out what it means. So with that, again, quick refresher course on that. We're going to go ahead and get into the game. When you first start playing, just go and start grabbing everything you can. Because once you start grabbing things, as you can see up in the top right, you start um, discovering uh, different things, and I'm already getting attacked right at the beginning. So, punched him and got the mite fuzz. So, as you can see, it unlocked an arrow and a mite hat. Again, when you first get into the game, everything. Just pick everything up that you possibly can. Uh, here's... Okay, so I picked up a sprig and I got a, a roasting spit, which is it, where you're able to cook food, uh, make a fence when you start building your uh, base. Heblets. I can make a spear now. And it will tell you what you can do over here up on the top right as you start picking things up. Uh, one of the things you do want to get early is these mushrooms because you can eat them. About eight of them will give you full health. Uh, so we'll go ahead and so now as you can see the tutorial tells you you want to find water do not drink this water down here this is gross as you can see right there it says thought I heard something it says uh, slurp nasty water you don't want to do that because you will lose health so stay away from that water uh, what you want to do is you want to find water that are that is up in the grass uh, and you'll see it it'll be a um, like right there, it's hanging. There, there's some water right where my little point is at, right there. 
but again i'm just going to run around and start picking up things uh the sap is um always for the sap you want to look at any tree type object branches fallen trees the oak tree look around and underneath that's where the sap will be located in this game and again as you uh as you start um playing and just picking things up if you go over to your crafting inventory if you don't uh research it right away as it says you know you want to track the signal to a source this uh right there is you want to head to that because that is a research station but like i said if you want to craft something before getting over to the research station go ahead just hit your c key and under crafting we'll go ahead and craft a weapon uh yeah we'll go ahead and craft the spear real quick and you got the option of crafting it which will craft it and put it in your inventory or you craft and equip it will we'll craft it and it will put it in your hand um both your tools and your weapons over here on the right hand side will tell you how much damage they do uh there's a little icon that i don't really know what that means so we'll go ahead and look at it um it does no stun and there's the speed so again uh that icon not sure what it means so go over to the os come over here and see if we could find what that icon is or not <laughs> so that uh, that icon am i missing that icon huh Don't know what that icon is. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and craft and equip this. So I now do I do now have a spear in my hand uh, just in case I need to fight some more bugs. But again, I'm going to make my way over to this, the crafting, uh, the, the little tent over here. As I'm picking up more things, again, I found the field station. So once you find the field station, as you can see, this, the, the track, the signal to a source is complete. Uh, now they want you to interact with the computer, which is right over here. Technically, you're not interacting with this computer. You're interacting with this thing right here. So what you want to do is you I'm click E, and anything in your inventory us. that has a red exclamation point, uh, you want to research. First thing you want to research really is the pebblet, because this will unlock tools and weapons that you will need. <laughs> pebble axe. Definitely need the pebble axe at the start. Uh, go ahead and um, research your sprig. Which will give you, uh, unlock a spiky sprig, which is a weapon and a trail marker. And as you can see, this analyzed charges. You got three. Um, and once you use the three up, which I will do right now, eh, we'll go ahead and analyze this right here. This also gives you analyzing. Make sure you analyze everything because it gives you the raw sciences that you will need later on uh, when you get to the um, the oak tree to turn in. But as you can see, this is uh, no longer charged. And it says next charge at 949. This is your, your game clock. It goes pretty fast. So when you start running around doing things, it would, you gain one charge every so often and it will charge relatively quickly. So don't worry about that not being, being able to... Um, not being able to research everything so what i want to do is i want to go over to my inventory see what else i could craft i do you do want to craft the pebble axe right away so what we're going to do is we need crude rope what is crude rope go over to go over to yeah i thought i've actually picked up enough stuff to make crude rope why is it not? Oh, you know why? Because I did not analyze it. So another key thing that you want to do is uh, the first few things is you want to analyze the plant fiber in order to make the crude rope. Without analyzing it, you can't do it. So that's where I made my first mistake, but pretty easy. Again, um, in one minute, it will see. There you go. Uh, so again, very important to analyze this up front because this is one of these items that you cannot make until you analyze it so go ahead and analyze it and this will give me my crude rope and with that now i can craft my axe that i needed to craft so right here as you can see i have 
still need a crude rope uh, down here. I could hot craft it, which means um, I could craft it here without going to this. So this is new because I, I unlocked, I analyzed the, the weed and now the crude rope is in here. So I can make the crude rope from here or I can hot craft it, which means I don't have to go to that other menu to, to craft that. I could click on it here, click the space bar to hot craft it. It makes it. And anything with a, a green check mark, you can go ahead and craft. I am going to go ahead and craft and equip this. And that means it is now on my quick launch bar and in my hand. I want to take this rock out of my out of my hand. So put this back over here. Put this over here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so now that the, the rock is out of my hand. Um, so now I got the axe and I need water. So if you see up at the top, it says find water and then drink a dew, dew drop. If you look down at the bottom left, down at your little um, scobby icon, see the water indicator? It is getting low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this, follow where this water is at, down this grass. And uh, two ways to do it. You can hit it with your weapon, or if you don't have a weapon, you just hit it with your hand. The water will drop to the ground, and then you can go ahead and drink it. That uh, really good. Just be careful when you do that. If there is a puddle or something around, the dew drop will fall, can fall into that puddle, and it turns into gross water, and you don't want to drink that. So that's the only time you're going to get the indicator of that dew drop up in the grass. So what you're going to want to do is, throughout this, at the very beginning, is constantly keep an eye up on the grass to see uh, if you could see dew drops. Um, you want to keep hydrated as much as possible, as well as uh, eat as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here, do another analyze of this mite fuzz. It will unlock some other things for me. <laughs> Stuff might and... Uh, Fuzz on the Rocks, which is a smoothie recipe, which you will definitely start uh, being able to uh, access later on. Uh, not not early game just yet. So what I want to build next is I definitely want to get a Heblet Hammer. And uh, I think the Spiky Sprig is one of those important items at the beginning of the game. Because the damage, the stun, and the speed. You could also use your Heblet Hammer. It's slow. It does a good stun. Damage is, is pretty much a little bit lower than a sprig. Um, so for the beginner weapon, the spiky sprig is definitely the way to go. Uh, what you're going to do need is, what you are going to need is the thistle needle, which comes from a thistle plant, which is a purple uh, flower that has spikes on it. And I will show you where this is at right here at the beginning of the game. Uh, so if you come over here, if you, you see the baseball there, uh, your your research lab is here. I'm going to go to the map and kind of give you a basic idea of where we're at. So I'm looking in, in the west direction. And right down near this area over here, you will find a purple flower, which is the, um, the, the thistle. So we're going to go ahead over there right now. Again, still pick items up, even if you've uh, unlocked them or anything like all, stuff like that. Because you will definitely need crafting items at the beginning of the game and throughout the game, technically. You're going to always need crafting items to craft lots and lots of things that you will find in the game. So right there, as I was telling you, that is the purple flower with uh, the spikes on it. Uh, this is the thistle. And if you jump up onto these leaves right here, these spikes right here are the thistle needles that you're going to need to make uh, different items. Um, but we want to make the the thistle what is it called the spiky the spiky sprig so just just keep uh grab as many as you want and you also need to analyze these but you don't need to analyze them to make the spiky sprig once you have them in your inventory and you could um keep jumping up on the leaves to go higher and get as many as you possibly can or want uh, these will respawn so you just can't get an unlimited supply of them like we used to be able to get. All right, so once I get these, I'm going to go over to my inventory. I need uh, two crude ropes. So I'm going to hot craft two of them. Now I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, everything is yellow. I've got the green check mark. I'm going to go ahead and craft this and put it into 
click on it, craft it, and equip it. So go back to my character. Now she has this in her hands. Um, but as you can see down below, it's not in the hot bar. So what I'm going to do is go back to my inventory. I want to put this in my hot bar. And I also want to put... See the spiky sprig is right here. I want to put that in my hot bar as well. As you can see, it's over here. I I know my my little video is on in the way, but it's over here as you, in the as it's showing in her hands. But it's not on my hot pouch. So if I switch to my axe, that will go into my inventory, and it won't be like um, quickly accessible if you need it. So now they want us to eat some food and after I eat the food we're gonna go ahead and call it quits because I don't want to make this too long and I am kind of getting long-winded on some of the things I'm trying to explain go ahead and grab some more of these because you're always gonna need a lot of the um, the plant fibers we'll come over here and get this little uh, the weevil Go ahead and pick him up. Oop, let's see if that ant. So the ants, just to let you know, ants are friendly until you hit them. Uh, once you hit them, they are a community bug. So if there are ants around the one that you hit, their eyes will turn red and they will start attacking you. So that's something to be aware of. And don't get between them. If they were like, if that one was attacking that weevil, don't get between them and the bug that they're trying to attack because they will bite you instead. And, uh, so, okay, so we were going to go ahead and eat some food. You remember I, I picked up all those mushrooms? That is, that will complete this tutorial right here. So what you want to do is go ahead and just click on it. You can double click on it and it will eat it. And about eight of these will fill you up if you can see this bar right here. And I could be lying, but that bar hasn't moved at all. But down there, as soon as I got out of screen, it, it's almost full. So eat the small sna uh, snack, and that does fill up your your uh, your hunger bar. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and call this one quits for the, the beginner tutorial. Uh, next episode, I will show you how to build the, the workbench and uh, continue on with progressing throughout the game as a new player in 2021 with all the new changes that they have come out with. So hopefully this video helps. If you have any questions about this video right here, go ahead and please leave a comment below. I will get back to you within 24 hours, if not sooner. Um, and uh, yeah, so as always, you guys have a great time out there exploring your backyard. And I am Magic Flying Potato, and I am Oot.